Okay, so I'm getting a lot of people asking me in my comments section on YouTube, you know, what the best air purifiers are for wildfire smoke because of the wildfires in California, right? So I'd say right now, the best air purifiers for wildfire smoke are the Air Pura V714 for larger rooms and the V414 for about 500 square foot spaces and less, maybe 600 square feet. So these units come with Super HEPA filters, which are EN 1822 certified, and they will filter at 99.99% at 0.3 microns, which is better than HEPA. So they filter better than HEPA. They also have the larger unit, the V714 has 18 pounds of carbon, and the V414, the smaller unit, it's about 16 inches tall, that one has about uh, eight pounds of carbon in it, right? So wildfire smoke has thousands of different chemicals in it that you really need a lot of carbon in your air filtration solution to take care of it, okay? So these two units also have potassium iodide in the carbon as well, which will help take, it'll help them take out more chemicals out of the air as well. Now, if you are uh, chemically sensitive, you may not want the potassium iodide in your solution, but Air Pura can customize solutions for people, so you'd want to talk with them about that. At any rate, so yeah, the carbon has some additives in it, which will help it take out even more of the chemicals in the air. So I have links below in the description for the two units, and you get a 10% discount with coupon code DZAIR10. So a couple days ago, IQ Air, which is based in California as well, they came out with, with an article discussing you know, some of the issues with wildfires and wildfire smoke. And we'll just go over that just really quickly here. So the hidden dangers of urban wildfire smoke was the name of this uh, article by IQ Air. So it says here, wildfires are no longer just a problem for remote forests. They're burning in urban areas like Pacific Palisades and Altadena near Los Angeles, creating toxic smoke filled with harmful chemicals, you know, from homes and vehicles to plastics and construction materials. So that kind of smoke is going to be different than, you know, just regular wildfire smoke that's going to be in the forest. All right. So they go on to say urban wildfire smoke is no ordinary pollutant. And I'll have a link to this. Uh, I'll have a link to this uh, blog article as well down in the description so you can read it if you'd like, if you, if you want to reference it. So it says when wildfires occur in cities, the materials burned release far more than soot and ash, which is a mixture of all different size particles composed of different materials. Burned vegetation, vehicles, plastics, and building materials produce particulate matter and a variety of toxic compounds, including VOCs and metals like lead and arsenic. Okay, so they say, what makes urban wildfire smoke so toxic? They go on to say that homes, cars, and infrastructures that are being burned, they release toxic compounds like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, they call it PAHs, known to cause cancer and damage the immune system. There is dioxins and furans, byproducts of burning plastics and other materials linked to reproductive and developmental issues. And there's also uh, heavy metals as well. Materials like lead, arsenic, and chromium are released when metals and paints burn, posing risks of neurological and cardiovascular diseases. So they say in this article that PM 2.5 from wildfires is up to 10 times more harmful to humans compared to PM 2.5 from other pollution sources. So wildfire smoke is really bad, right? Okay, right? Wildfire smoke and the contaminants from it that we breathe is just, it's freaking terrible, okay? So the health impacts of urban wildfire smoke include short-term effects, which include coughing, throat irritation, difficulty breathing, and itchy eyes, and also long-term effects from chronic exposure can increase heart disease, stroke, lung cancer, and even neurological issues. They go on to say that mental health, there are also mental health effects as well. Wildfires don't just harm physical health, they also take a mental toll. Residents in, in fire-affected areas report higher rates of depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, which can persist for years, All right? Urban wildfires unleash toxic compounds that continue to pose health risks long after the flames are gone. Okay, so we'll say lingering effects. So even after the smoke has disappeared, harmful pollutants often remain in the environment. 
ash from urban wildfires can contaminate soil and water supplies with PAHs and heavy metals, while toxic compounds can linger in homes for weeks or even months. A study following the 2021 Marshall Fire in Colorado found high levels of PAHs in ash and VOCs in indoor air samples, both of which are linked to respiratory, developmental, and reproductive health problems. Toxic pollutants were also found in nearby residences' tap water. So there's a lot of problems going on with this wildfire smoke. And if you saw one of my, uh, I made a video about a year ago and it said, <laughs> actually, when there is a wildfire outbreak, you know, in California, uh, the ultrafine particles, some of them actually travel all the way to the East Coast. Uh, I'm in Georgia, by the way. So percentage of it actually travels all the way to the East Coast. And we get some of it here and even in Georgia. And just like, you know, there were some articles uh, last year or the year before about the Canadian wildfires and how, you know, they were coming all the way down here to Georgia and they were going all the way down into uh, Florida as well. So it is a regional issue for sure. You know, if you're in the specific area where the wildfires are burning, but also that stuff isn't limited to just the states that it's burning in or the countries, you know, with the Canadian issue. Uh, some of those particulates travel, you know, even thousands of miles, which is insane. At any rate, so those are the two best solutions that I know of for the wildfire issue. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of questions about that. You know, there's links below for them and also the coupon code and also a link to this article by IQ Air um, on the effects of wildfire smoke. And if, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.